Ramadan friends, and salamu alaikum. Welcome to Ramadan Books in Nadia's Nook. Today, we're reading Hamza Learns Wudu by Ansa Chotri. This book is about a little boy named Hamza and his first time doing wudu. Do you guys know how to do wudu? Well, come on, join me in your jammies and grab your favorite cuddly friend because it's time for... Ramadan books, Ramadan books, Ramadan books in Nadia's Nook. Welcome back to my Nook, everyone. Are you guys all comfy in your jammies? Great, me too. Who's ready to read? Perfect, let's begin. Hamza Learns Would Do by Ansa Chotri. Hamza's brother Ali had just come home from school and was heading to the washroom. Hamza stopped him and asked, Ali, where are you going? Ali replied, I am going to perform my wudu, since it's almost time for a sir prayer. Hamza had always seen his family perform their wudu, and now he decided he wanted to learn how to perform wudu properly. Curious, Hamza asked, Ali, why do we have to do wudu? Ali was glad to see that Hamza was showing an interest in wudu. Wudu is what we do to clean and purify ourselves before we pray. We make niya, or intention, in our heart that we are going to perform wudu. And we always start wudu by first saying bismillah, said Ali. And excited, Hamza asked, Can you teach me how to do wudu? Of course, replied Ali. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Hamza knew that there were many steps to wudu. Hamza hoped that he could remember them all once Ali had showed him. Okay, the first thing we do is wash both our hands, including our wrists, starting with the right hand first, three times, explained Ali. Hamza followed after his brother. Don't forget to let the water go between your fingers, said Ali. Next, Ali rinsed out his mouth three times using his right hand. He made sure he did a good rinse since he had just finished eating a tasty snack. Hamza happily followed along, thinking that would do is pretty easy so far. Now this next step is a bit tricky, Hamza. Are you ready? Asked Ali. Hamza nodded and was up for the challenge. Ali showed him how to bring water up to his nose with his right hand just enough so that the water would enter and clean the nose. He told Hamza to repeat this step three times. Hamza was excited about this step and was eager to impress Ali. He remembered what Ali said about letting the water enter the opening of his nose. Hamza had to wash his nose one more time. The most challenging step of wudu was almost over. However, poor Hamza snorted too much water and started hacking and coughing. His poor nose started to hurt. Are you okay? said Ali, patting Hamza on the back. Trying to be brave, Hamza replied, Yes, I'm fine. Let's do the next step now. Ali explained to Hamza that the next step was to wash his entire face three times. Ali then showed Hamza how to wash his right forearm with his left hand, all the way up to and including the elbow, three times. Then he showed him how to wash his left forearm with his right hand, all the way up to and including the elbow, three times. Ali showed Hamza how to clean his head by moving the palms of each wet hand over his head, starting from the top of the forehead to the back. He then showed Hamza how to clean his ears by rubbing his wet fingers into the grooves of both ears and cleaning behind the ears. He then finished off the step by passing his wet hand over the back of his neck. Hamza liked this part of wudu. He started making goofy faces and a high mohawk with his hair. Ali was not amused. Wudu is not a joke, 
and you should not behave this way when performing would do, said Elise. Hamza felt bad. He just wanted to have some fun. He realized when he was doing would do, he should not goof around. Sorry, Elise, said Hamza. Okay, Hamza, we're almost finished, said Elise. He then showed Hamza how to wash both feet three times, starting with the right foot. Make sure that you wash your entire foot as far up as your ankles, said Elise. Hamza felt so proud. He has completed his first would do. However, both Ali and Hamza did not realize how much of a mess they had made in the washroom while Ali was showing Hamza how to perform would do. It was only until Mama came in with an angry look on her face that they realized what a mess they had made. Hamza's mother explained that Muslims should be clean and asked him to tidy up the washroom. She explained to Hamza that would do was an act of cleaning and purifying ourselves, so we shouldn't leave our surroundings messy either. Hamza was excited to clean up the water. He put on his snorkeling outfit and thought that cleaning the washroom would be an adventure. He was happy that he learned the steps of would do and repeated the steps in his head. First big naya, then say bismillah, wash each hand three times, rinse my mouth three times, wash my nose three times, wash my face three times. Hamza continued through the steps as he cleaned the water on the floor. Wash each of my arms three times, wash my head once, making sure I clean both my ears and neck, and wash each foot three times, starting with my right foot. Hamza quickly changed his clothes and went to the prayer room to join Ali and perform Usr prayer. After prayer, Ali and Hamza went to the kitchen and had some candy. See Hamza, would do was not that hard to learn and now you know all the steps, said Ali. Thanks for showing me, said Hamza as he enjoyed his yummy lollipop. Now that we're in the last 10 days of Ramadan, some people are praying even more now, and it's always important to do we do before we pray. How many steps of would do do you guys remember? Well, listen to this story again and again, and you'll remember more each time. Inshallah, I can't wait to see you all tomorrow night when we can read another book in my nook. Until then, good night and sweet dreams.